Hello again, guys. So we're going to feature another speedrun that has balls in it. Absolutely no. It's a complete coincidence. So just how it is. But this is Pokemon Pinball. I'm going to be doing the Sapphire Field. And yeah. So the run starts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Cool. Uh, so Pokemon Pinball is a pinball game. That's really all there is to say to it. Um, there isn't actually enough time across the run to explain all the game mechanics, so I'm going to have to presume you're f somewhat familiar with pinball games. Uh, but the thing we speedrun to is the final bonus stage that you can unlock, which is the Rayquaza bonus stage. It requires us going through five bonus stages to get to it. Uh, yeah, We're going to abuse on the Sapphire Field the Zigzagoon, which I just activated on the right. It has a very useful feature. When you get a slot machine, Zigzagoon can actually stop it on whatever slot it's on when you press A. So with some good aiming, we can get very favourable slot machines and skip a lot of the uh, required route to unlock certain things. Um, so the slot machines always work in a cycle of five. This first one is useless, there's nothing good in it, so I'll just skip through it as fast as I can. The second one has a catch em all mode start, which saves us having to roll all the way around the outside like I'm doing now to open up catch em. Um, what I'm actually doing here is opening up the Evo mode, but same principle, you just roll around the other side for catch em. Uh, yeah, so the second slot has a catch em start, did you again? Uh, fourth slot has an Evo start, which is what I'm doing now. So obviously you'd skip having to set up the Evo again, you just go into Evo. And the most useful one is on the fifth slot you have a go-to bonus. Which allows you to skip, completely skip a catch and Evo stage and just go straight to a bonus. Um, so we're going to be doing two rounds of slots to skip those stages twice. Just saves a lot of time across the run, we might as well use it while Zig's there. Uh, yeah. I love this game, I love running this game, I'm the only serious runner of this game, so can someone please come run this game with me? <laughs> like, I really want somebody to get good with, good at this with me, I'm only okay. Someone should come run this game, it's really fun. I even have money on the line if you can beat my times. That's no joke. But yeah, um... The thing you'll see me doing, like just there, is I'll be abusing the tilt mechanics. So you can hit with both the flippers, obviously. But you also have a left tilt, a right tilt, and an up tilt. Um, all very useful. Generally useful just to manipulate the ball around where it, into a position you want it to be in. Um, oh wow, that's up. But extremely useful on this category, in a, as I'll show you straight after this actually to manipulate the slot machines because it's some it's difficult to get a lot of slot machines going uh the like the expected way the intended way of doing it um so we'll be abusing tilt to get them really quickly So this is the first bonus stage, which is what I was mentioning earlier. We're racing to the Rayquaza bonus. First one's the Dusk Skull. No game audio. Um, no, I've definitely got audio on my end. Don't know what that is, but I can see the audio coming through. There is game audio. Oh, cool. Good. <laughs> a little worried for a second there. No worries. If you want to make sure it's going well, that's fine. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so this is the first useful slot machine. So you can see catch and start. Zigzagoon stops us on it. Saves us having to go around the edge twice. And I want to talk about something really quickly here. Oh, actually, first. Here's me using the tilt mechanic. 
or abusing it. Ah, oh, come on. Nah, not quite. Okay, so I abused it there and I got two of the four slots. Um, if I'm good, I get all four. I wasn't quite good there. But that's how you abuse it to... Oh, there we go. So this is how you abuse it to get the slots set up. There we go. Uh, the best way I've found of doing that is mashing in a good rhythm. Uh, it is mashing. <laughs> it's not super tight timing. But you have to mash with the right rhythm. Or I suppose you can just time it with the right rhythm. But that's how you activate the slots nice and quickly. So this is another useless slot, we'll just burn this. And then, so basically from now I'm not going to activate Catch em or Evo Road properly again. I just want to do it through the slots. Come on. Nice, got it. There we go, and we got a zig, but we didn't go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about earlier, I just caught a slack off. Uh, that's much better than it seems. You can actually get non-evolvable Pokemon, uh, which means that when you try and start the Evo mode, you just don't get it. You get catch and mode again. Um, and that sucks, basically, if you get a non-evolvable Pokemon, because then you have to catch three to unlock a single bonus, rather than just catching one and evolving it. Uh, so Slack Off is useful, because he has two evolutions. So if you do catch, if I do happen to catch a non-evolvable Pokemon now, it's fine, I can just evolve Slack off instead. Ah, I missed the Zigzagoon. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're going to the first Kyogre bonus. Oh, what I was talking, I was interrupting myself earlier. Um, I was saying that the Rayquaza bonus is like the end point of the speedrun. To get there, you have to beat the Duskull bonus twice and the Kyogre bonus twice, and then you unlock the Rayquaza bonus. So, in an odd, what will seem like an odd set of repetition, we'll actually have to redo the Duskull and Kyogre bonus again. Um, but thankfully, the way the game works, I can the route the way the route works for this as well using the slot machine, the next couple of uh, bonuses are very fairly quick to get to and interesting looking. I'm not just going to be doing similar to what, things to what I was doing earlier. A quick word about the Kyogre bonus, it is possible to kill this guy in two cycles uh, on both attempts. The first attempt he takes 15 hits to beat. Oh, that sucks. Roll over. Ah, damn it. Uh, so I'm a little annoyed there. If you can tilt across the gap between the flippers, it's just out of reach of that freezing attack. Uh, but I timed it slightly wrong. But yeah, you can two cycle. So I've missed the two cycle on this now. He's on to, he's on to his third cycle. Uh, but you can actually two cycle Kyogre in both fights. In the first fight, he takes 15 hits to beat. So in this one, there we go. Uh, in the second one, he takes 20. So a two cycle on the first Kyogre fight, it requires decent luck and decent execution. In the second one, it's insane to get, but you can do it. And this is where the slot machine comes into big play, because we now skip straight to the Dull School bonus. This section is very quick. We just go from one bonus to the next. And that's how useful that Zigzagoon is. If you play the other stage, you don't have that Zigzagoon, and you have to either get lucky with the slot machines, or you have to do catch-ems and Evo, Evo modes to uh, skip them. Getting pretty lucky with the Duskull spawns here. It's completely RNG where they appear, and you really want low-down ones that you can hit quickly and get back to. And obviously ones that are just in a good angle to go to straight away. Because obviously you might not necessarily be able to hit one based off you bounce off of another one. You just want to just get lucky is the easy explanation. I didn't explain earlier, but this Duskops can be hit either 
when it's moving or from its back. So you can actually uh, manipulate yourself, manipulate the ball around to its arse end. You can get a much quicker kill. <laughs> So now we have to do one more Kyogre bonus and then it's Rayquaza. Um, for this we're basically just going to mash through a, a ton of slots to get the catch and evo and then set up another bonus with for the Rayquaza bonus. Uh, another bonus slot for the Rayquaza bonus. So I'm just going to burn this slot quickly. Manipulate them again. Okay, good. Now, so this is what we were talking about earlier. That's a Roselia, and you can't evolve a Roselia because this is this game was made back in Gen three, so there's no Roserade yet. So that would be a run ender in other circumstances, or in a marathon setting. I just have to catch three Pokemon, but because we caught the slack off, I don't have to worry. And I can just evolve the uh, vigor off that I've got. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, I'm just going to burn these slots out and then set up another one for Evo mode. And then when we beat Evo mode, that will give us the Kyogre bonus. Didn't do that very well. Don't die. Uh, dying is not a huge issue in this run, honestly. The worst thing dying does, nice. So if you've got the ball save on, it just wastes a little bit of time. If you don't, the worst thing dying does is remove all your slots. Um, so provided you've got another life, dying really doesn't cost a ton of time at all. It certainly doesn't end your run. Oh, actually, I don't think you were just talking about me coughing, weren't you? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh, well. Right. Uh, so you may notice that despite the fact that the experience is in the top right, I'm actually using the right bumper to get to it. That's because this is a fairly consistent shot if you bounce off that seat dot button. You should go straight to that. Uh, it's just one of the things I found. Ow, please. Come on. I'm doing it too late. There we go. So yeah, if you hit that seat up bottom right, you go straight up to that spot. And this is one of the key things you need to know for running this game. Um, there's lots of fairly consistent shots which you need to get used to so being able to get into the evo uh, section the evo ramp and the the catch and ramp and being able to get into the bonus hole because that's not as easy as it looks the magnetism on that is a pain so you want to find shots that set you up so like activating the zigzagoon is a really good way to get into the bonus you'll find well you'll see me combine that a ton because when you activate the Zigzagoon, you generally roll up to the bumpers and then roll down into the bonus hole. So that works quite nicely in combination. And you want to activate the Zigzagoon for the next slots anyway. Okay, so this is Kyogre 2. Again, two cycle is possible, but it on the second attempt, it's insane. Uh, it's basically over now. I can't do it because I got hit into a whirlpool. You have to get many shots in on him. Well, to be honest, you've got to get 10 a cycle in. Um, well, that's not super accurate because you get a little bit of time to hit him just as he rises out of the water in a minute. So here. Nice. You want to hit him when he starts that attack up because if you actually hit him in the middle of it, he just stops. And obviously you don't get frozen when that happens. I must apologise, guys. My voice is going a little bit. I have got a bit of a cough. I think my throat is... 
to make up for it though, this is a pretty decent run. Definitely the best marathon run I've done of this. So I just got unlucky there. I had to hit both bumpers up to make sure I didn't fall out and I didn't get the direction that shot into him. I'm actually going to miss the three cycle here I think, unless he's one hit away. Yeah, nah, that's a shame. And <laughs> straight into the level. Not much I could have done about that, but four cycles easy peasy. Should just be dead on this hit. Oh no. Wow, you're still not dead. I'm sure I've hit you 20 times. Thank you. Okay. So that was a very slow Kyogre 2. It's a bit of a shame because the run was good up until that point. Uh, but similarly to after Kyogre 1, we're not going to be doing very much in the main field again. We're just going to get the bonus going and go straight to Rayquaza. And this is it. 15 hits on this, and that's the end of the run. Let's see, best count them with me, guys. But this guy is is difficult. It is actually possible to lose to him. I shouldn't, but it wouldn't be the... Uh, that's surprising. So that's still two hits. Oh, wow, this is poor. I've got him out of, out of sync as well. You see he floats up and down. Uh, you can't hit him when he's floating up. And there's a natural rhythm to how your ball shoots up and down when you're hitting it. And you, oh, dude. You want to uh, get into the rhythm so that every time you hit the ball up, oh, wow, you're hitting it at him as he's falling down. And it's difficult to get out see like this it's difficult to get out of that desync if you're in it so I've really not hit him very much fun fact in my PB he's already dead <laughs> please don't hit me into the other world hall okay thank you also a whirlwind but this is a very poor Rayquaza Oh, I'm falling out when he does this attack because it's less likely to get hit by the whirlwind. Because when he rushes across the screen, you actually get knocked along with him. I have no, many, no idea how many hits I've got on him now. I think it's only about 8 or 9. It's actually pretty important to keep track of how many hits you have on him because when he's down to... That sucks as well. Yeah, spawn on the whirl whirlwind. When he's down to one hit away, he stops doing the thunderbolt attack and just flies straight back up to do the whirlwind. I think time's coming up. Okay, now I think he needs one or two more hits. I've only got a minute left. Panic. See, you don't want to leave him on one hit left because then he's just going to fly away constantly and get stuck in a loop with a whirlwind. Which I think I may have just done. If he flies away now, this could be terrible. Yeah. Ah, shit. He could just infinitely spawn me on whirlwinds here and there's nothing I can do about that. Time. Okay. So, unfortunately, those last two fights were pretty terrible. Um, but otherwise, the run was really nice. So I'm slightly disappointed right, by that. Still, still underestimate with 1837. <laughs> oh jeez, just. Okay. <laughs> that does. Uh, sorry about that guys, that was a little little bit of a train wreck at the end, but yeah, that was fun. Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for being here. Alright. Guys play pinball. <laughs> yeah, and uh, up next we've got Electronic Super Joy. So look forward to that guys. And good luck to the next one.